Thank you for watching this video, Five Secrets, Deregulated Power Contracting in Brazil. This is the second video out of a five video collection. I am Rafael Herzberg, partner at Interact Limited, an energy consulting company based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The pricing formats we will include in this presentation are the fixed prices, the spot prices, the color prices, and the escalation formulas that are most popular in Brazil. The fixed power price is the most popular one. The seller and the buyer, they negotiate a price denominated in reais per megawatt hour, and they agree upon an inflationary adjustment. The spot prices are very volatile at one may lock prices at the spot. It means that every month it will be a new price according to the value that is published by the local clearinghouse CCEE. It may vary from 388 reais per megawatt hour to 30 reais per megawatt hour. The color arrangement is shown in this slide. The buyer and the seller, they agree upon a floor price and a ceiling price. If we take into account what happened in the last year, if we consider that the floor was established at 100 reais per megawatt hour and the ceiling at 250 reais per megawatt hour, it means that every time that the spot prices were above the ceiling price, the seller charged the buyer at 250 reais per megawatt hour. Accordingly, if the spot prices were below the value of the floor price, it means that the seller charged 100 reais per megawatt hour. After slightly more than a year, it means that the average price that the buyer paid uh, for the seller is shown in the dot line that is designated as actual result. The escalation formulas may include the following options. The traditional inflationary index like IGPM or IPCA that are basically tied to the official inflation or it may be tied to the regulated rates or to the US dollar or to another uh, commodity. So this basically depends on what is negotiated between seller and buyer. We have locked more than 600 million US dollars uh, along these years since the inception of the deregulated markets in Brazil. And one thing we can say for sure, it's about risk management. And this is very uh, sensitive to each specific company or institution, because I would say that in each case, there might be a different portfolio strategy. And each case, you have a diff different uh, situation when it comes to identifying and allocating risks. Thank you for watching this video. And stay tuned because in the next few days we will release a new video about contract term. And here goes my contact information. I am looking forward to hearing from you.